Shalom Israel. Want to want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders who teach and rule well at Great Millstone, and peace and salutations, and peace and mercy to the prophets, the hopeful elect, the hundred and forty-four thousand, and to the men and women of the twelve lost tribes of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Shalom. Back with another lesson. Um, I'll title this one: uh, um, "Increase Faith and Be and Be Humble." You know, increase uh, faith and and be humble. You know, and um, you see, Yahabai Shimei was shy. Uh, is a man. He 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 was. He's a man of uh, no reputation. You see. You know he he's he's not of rep reputation. They, you know. Uh, um, he 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 took the low, uh, you know, when he was when he was down here. He took the low, you know, in the form of a servant. You see, he wasn't exalting himself, you know, and being high minded uh, above everybody like that. He was doing. He came down here. And he did the will of the Father, of Yahweh. You know? And I titled this Increase um, increase Faith and Be Humble. And how do you increase your faith? You have to pray. You have to fast. You have to weep. You know, you have to do these things to, to move closer to the Lord. And your faith will increase. By praying and fasting. Praying and fasting go together like a, a hand and, and glove. You know. Those are those are two powerful uh tools that Yahweh by Shemi Al Shai uh gave us, especially in this time that we're coming in, because we're coming into a, a very dark time um real soon here. But let me um let me go to uh I don't want to make this too long. Uh let's go to Ephesians 6 and 11. Eph Ephesians 6 and 11 and it reads Put on the whole armor of Yahweh by Shemuel that ye me that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. And see, you got to put on the whole armor. And how are you putting on the whole armor? By this, by doing what he says. You see? You know, it's just like uh, uh, football, you know, and hockey. You know, you, you, you go out to the field or, you know, to the ice or whatever. You got to put on your equipment. You know, football player got helmet, got shoulder pads, got cleats. You know, uh, pads and stuff like that to protect theyself. You don't want to go out to the field and 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 got and don't got your helmet on, and then you get hit. You you could possibly die or get knocked out. But I'm just using that as an example. But the Lord says, put on the whole armor of of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. Put on the whole armor. You got to do, you got to uh, 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 not just talk it, but you got to walk it. This thing is spiritual. The Lord is, the Lord is, is a spirit. And it says that you have to worship him in spirit. You know, you have a lot of, uh, you know, there's a lot of deceiving and trickery and, and it's going to get even worse. You know, agents and spies and stuff like that. That's, that's coming around and, uh, um, you know, being deceitful and, and deceitful. And that's why it says, uh, uh, put on the whole armor of Yahweh by Shemuel that ye may, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. You see, and the devil has many different traits of tricks and, 
and trickery and different, you know, uh, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, ways of, of, of trying to uh, uh, bring you down, you know, and they have these, you know, they got these spies, they got these lies and agents, they're all working for the devil. But if you got on the whole armor of Yahweh by Shemal Shai of the Lord, then you know you're gonna have you gonna you're gonna be protected. You will be protected. But you gotta put on the whole the whole armor of the Lord. You know these these spies and agents and these the, the vocabs and. Different uh, 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 little spies and agents that 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 Esau has sent is sending against uh, 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 the Lord, the the, the uh, against the the elect, trying to stop this word. It, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. The Lord's going to he's going to smash that all day long. The, the, especially the ones of Israel that that are agents and that are working for Esau the devil, trying to trying to tear down uh, uh, the church of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh by the tabernacles of King David. They're going to be smashed. They're going to be put to death. You will not succeed. Your time is short. And all the fakes and phonies of it that's that's claiming to be of Israel. And, and 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 to be in this ministry and you know uh, 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 preaching the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and there's only one word there's no other doctrine there's one doctrine and that's the doctrine that the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai uh, has given us and you and and, and and that name that name Yahweh and Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai the real Hebrew names. Of, of the, the father and the son. You see? Let me go to uh, Proverbs. Um, let's go to Proverbs 25. And we're going to go to 6. Proverbs 25 and 6. And it reads. Put not forth thyself in the present. In the presence of of the king and stand not in the place of great men you see you want to be humble and the lord is telling you you know putting yourself up there with the kings and you know the high stature men you know you, you don't want to you don't you don't want to be in that position like that trying to be called the king and you got a lot of uh uh uh, uh of, of jake's you know, it's, you know, in the ministry and they think that they're high minded and high place and they've already crowned themselves to be a certain uh, 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 high priest or, you know, a uh, uh, top king, you know, and you ain't even been in this uh, 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 two seconds, according to the Lord's time. But the Lord said, he said, put not forth thyself in the presence of the king. And stand not in the place of great men. You want you want to uh, 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 you want to be you want to take the low. You want to be humble. You don't be bragging on yourself and you know um, you know just you know um, cocky and you know and you got a lot of Jake is like that too. Like they're the biggest, baddest person to ever walk this earth. A lot of Jake's got that prideful attitude, you see. But you want to be humble. You don't want to exalt yourself to be the king. Basically, let's go over to uh, um, Proverbs eleven and two. I don't make this too long. Just something through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Proverbs eleven and two. It says, "When pride cometh." Then cometh shame. See, when pride cometh, then cometh shame. And see, and 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 and, and never fails. You know, a lot, a lot of, a lot of people, especially ultimately, you know, Jake, uh, Esau, the most prideful, but you know, 
uh, being prideful like that, you know, the Lord telling you when pride cometh, then cometh shame. But the lowly, it says, but the lowly is wisdom. You see, being, being humble, you know, increasing your faith, you know, doing thus said the Lord, not being high minded, you know, uh, uh, having fellowship with the, with the, with the Akim, the brothers, you know, do, do giving due diligence to the, uh, uh, to the, uh, to the apostles and the elders, you know, just, just, uh, keeping your third, you know, your third eye single, you know, uh, uh, uh remain, just remaining humble. Cause you can, you can know this word and, and start just blasting out, uh, brothers and being and exalting yourself and, you know, you don't want to do that. You want to take the low, be humble, and continue to edify. You know, doing the work of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. You have your little nine to five life, you're, or if you got a family, you take care of that. Outside of that, remain humble and, and, and continue to do the work, uh, thus said the Lord, and uh, uh, pray and fast and watch. You see, that pride, the Lord hates pride. And he hates a, a lying tongue and a proud look. He hates pride. Pride, pride is, like he said, when you're being prideful, it's going to come with some shame. Let me go to uh, Luke 14. I've got a couple more and I'll close out. Luke 14. Luke 14 and... 11 and it reads Luke 14 and 11 and it reads for whosoever exalted himself shall be abased you see and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted the Lord said those who exalt themselves shall be abased the Lord's going to bring you down low for thinking that you're the king or the top dog or you know trying to uh, boast yourself uh, to, to to the highest point, trying to be the king. You know, the Lord said he's going to, you'll be abased. You see? So you want, you want to, you want to be humble and, and, and pray and fast to, uh, 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 to increase your faith. That's the level that you should be on at, at, at this time right now. Go, Cause we're coming into some real, real dark, troubled times. Okay, so let's go to uh, Psalm. We're going to close out with this Psalm 149. We're going to go to Psalm 149. Oh, here we go. Psalm 140, 49, Psalm, Psalm 149 and 4. Salakia. And it reads, for the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. In whose his people? The elect. The elect of Israel. He will beautify the meek with salvation. And that's what it's all about. Call halal Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. Salvation. Because the Lord is coming back to deliver the elect out of Israel. Out of these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. There's an elect, there's a remnant that the Lord is coming back to save. And that elect is in that uh, um, humble, uh, uh, increasing faith spirit. Doing the work of the Lord. You see, we're not worried about any any guns. We're not using no guns. We're not we're not boasting about our money. We're not uh, bragging about homes. You know, we're not doing none of that. The hopeful elect is in is in a, a, a contrite uh, spirit. We're we're, we're we're in a mourning spirit. Doing the work of the Lord, Yahweh by Shemiah Shai.
But I just want to go on with that. Um, Lord willing, I come back with another uh, lesson. I don't want to write this out. I'll come back with another lesson. Hopefully you're edified, but I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Shalom, Israel.